you hear about this idiot in the Greenland thing? I did. I did hear about it. We talked about it a we little bit. We talked about it last week. I thought tease. it was a joke. Right, it wasn't. We didn't really bring it up because I was well, like, this is a fucking joke. He scheduled a trip to Greenland when? When was that trip scheduled? <laughs> I'm going to break this down for you. Okay. And this is currently where the president of the United States lives in his head. There's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. I believe that Kim uh, from North Korea, they, it's official. They have mastered the art of miniaturization. This ain't good. They have built a nuclear weapon small enough to put on the tip of a warhead. That's so now bad. the nuclear missile is it capable of going. They can nuke L.A. They can nuke Washington. They can nuke Japan. They are now, they have, it's called miniaturization. They have miniaturized the, the, the bomb to fit on the cone of the missile. And now it's game over. Potentially, we have to deal with them like any other country in the world. We have allowed uh-huh. North Korea to get a nuke. That's one thing that this guy's got going on. You would think that buying a sovereign country would be about 430th on the list after you've taken mushrooms. Okay? Mm-hmm. This would never... The, Donald Trump floated the idea of buying Greenland. I, would th- I don't know why. Mm-hmm. He says it's strategic, but I really think he thought about buying Greenland so that in a couple dozen years he could build property on there. I really think he that's what it's about. He made a joke about it, and sometimes jokes are truth. For right? sure. Then he tweet out, I'm not going to do this to Greenland, but put a big Trump tower. We got, we're headed into a recession. We're in a trade war with China. Our farmers are starving. We don't have water in Newark. And this guy is really, really contemplating. He was contemplating making an offer to buy a sovereign country. He was literally thinking to himself, well, why don't I buy England? Or why don't I buy... How, uh, Brussels uh, or Belgium. Yeah. He thought I'll buy a country and he would, they were going to offer Denmark $600 million a year in perpetuity and then give them a one time big lump sum payment. So I guess we could own Greenland for whatever reason. Now, he did not see Greenland like for sale anywhere. He's just he like, he just thinks I want to buy it. Well, that's absolutely crazy. That's crazy. Insane. That is insane. And so he scheduled a trip there, not communicating with the, the prime minister. The trip was scheduled. What was the purpose of the trip? I think what, you know, you go and you, you, you know, those relations, state trips. Foreign yeah. Relations, Yeah. So, so the prime minister, they were ready for him. Like, yeah. So they were like, listen, you know, psychopaths, Greenland's not for sale. Like, that is, we're having a conversation about the president wanting to buy a sovereign country, and it's real. And Denmark is like, yeah, it's not for sale. (laughs) The foreign, the sovereign nation that we have a deal with, it's not for sale. And so he now has canceled his trip to Denmark because he doesn't want to hang out with the president of Denmark, I guess, because... Greenland isn't for sale. That's where we're at. With all of the other stuff cracking currently, it's scary. It's not, it's way past jokes. It's way past, like, it's, it's been scary. Past, it's been past jokes. For many, many months. Yeah. The guy is, uh, the guy is, uh, his rant yesterday was one of the, that's a classic. About the Jews. The Jews, Obama, throwing Obama under the bus that, that what did he say about Obama and Putin? Or Putin outsmarted Obama, right? Well, yeah, the whole G7 thing, right? Oh, There's that's a- right. He wants to let Russia back in the G7. If you don't think Russia compromised Donald Trump after that line, then- It's insane. I just want to clear this out real quick. But doesn't Macron agree with Trump? So maybe, doesn't Macron and Trump want to bring back Russia? And don't we trust Macron? Or do we not? I don't know what Macron wants. Oh, I, I heard both of them have floated the idea of bringing Russia back in. I think they're going to talk about it at this weekend's G7, talk, turning it into a G8. Got it. I just, just so we're clear, the President of the United States seriously inquired about buying another country. I heard. Okay. I heard. 
He seriously thought about that and came well, up with an thinking, offer. Thinking outside the box, you could say. Yeah, okay. Let's play a song. 